Hi, I'm Travis Silver with Talk of the Tavern, and this is the interview with Sean Gunn at Big Lick Comic Con in Roanoke, Virginia. Sean Gunn, as you may know, is the Hollywood superstar and geek icon who played the body movements for Rocket Raccoon, as well as Kraglin in Guardians of the Galaxy, and historically, for all the other folks, he was also Kirk on Gilmore Girls. Watch out for that dry sense of humor, and here we go with 27 Thoughts from Sean Gunn. Here with Sean Gunn of so many famous different things, including PG porn, which I don't see on your side. Oh, PG porn, yeah, no, That was not great. It's PG, though. It is, and it's awesome. Can we shoot through a quick couple questions here? Let's do it. We'll give you yes or no, or you can go outside of the box, whatever you want. What was your favorite role? No. Very good. Uh, I, uh, um, uh, let's see, my favorite role. Uh, that's a tough question. Um, I love what I'm doing now with Braglin. I love, um, I, I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably have to be Kirk from Gilmore Girls just because that's who I spent the most amount of time with over the years. And, uh, and so, and who I probably feel the most comfortable in his skin for better or for worse. But I always, you know, my, my favorite role is always the one I'm currently playing. So, like, uh, I look forward to more favorite roles. Very cool. Who have you fanboyed over? Um, Elliot Gould. Very cool. Very cool. What's your spirit animal? Or Patronus? Um, a dragon. A dragon, I would say. For both of them? What, what's, the, what's the second one? The Patronus from Harry Potter, the little spirit thing. Oh, yeah, no, I, I don't uh, like stories about the same person. So, okay. Uh, but I, I, don't, I, uh, I don't know any of the Harry, Harry Potter Let's see, uh, what's your favorite place to visit? My favorite place to visit, um, I'll go New Orleans. Very nice. Can you name three vices you have? Um, well, I, I don't know that I think of them as vices, but let's see. Uh, Pleasures of life. Uh, gambling, drinking, swearing. Yeah. Well, Oh, I'm just getting started too. But you said make three. Go on. <laughs> also, I, I want to make sure we're free up. Okay. No, I'm fine. No way. When you're doing something, what's your inspiring music? What do you play? Uh, hip hop generally. Uh, it depends on what I need to be inspired by. But I'll listen to like some. I'll listen to Big L if I need to get hyped up. That's a weird album. No. <laughs> no, Big L is not like Weird Al. <laughs> Top three movies. Top three movies. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, uh, two Robert Altman movies from the early '70s, California Split and The Long Goodbye, and uh, Mike Lee's movie Topsy Turvy about Gilbert and Sullivan. Pick a color. Another classic. Okay. What's your favorite comfort food? Um, chocolate chip cookies. Fresh baked, hot out of the oven. Sometimes with ice cream, vanilla. Uh, sure. Yeah. I don't know why I'm that. going off on that. Table. Sure. Yeah. Let's see here. What's your worst pickup line? My worst pickup line? Um, uh, hey, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Is that all for your best? <laughs> Let's see. See, I got two questions here. Uh, do you, you want me to just read it? I can oh, sure. If you visit any time in history. What time would you choose? Uh, you didn't miss it. Well, I had, you know, modern medicine saved my life when I was younger, so I can't go back very far. I think i got to pretty much stay where I am. Okay, conversation with one person. I choose you, because that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, what Smurf are you? Um, uh, the wise old Smurf. Uh, yeah, music genre. I like all genres, hip-hop. Uh, top of my bucket list. Um, uh, top of my bucket list. Uh... I want to I want to kayak all around New Zealand. Oh, that'll be fun. Um, kilts What's your opinion on kilts? Uh, I have no opinion on that kind of stuff. It makes you happy. Go for you it. ever worn one? Uh, I have not. Awesome. No. Well, you're young. Then. <laughs> Defining moment. Is that of my life? Of your life. What was your turning point that helped make you who you are? Um, do I? Is it okay to include experience with psychedelic drugs? Absolutely. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> that's that was a joke. That's the that was a joke, kids. Totally. I was going to college and staying in school. Right. It's nothing like drugs. Uh, tired of answering. 
Um, oh, questions you're tired of answering. What's the one question you always get that you're like, oh, not this again? The question I hate most is when people say, can you tell us any practical jokes or pranks that happened on set? Yeah, it just bugs me. I don't know why. I think it's because even though there are sometimes, yeah, sometimes people play pranks, but for the most part, we're adults at work. Like we're not. So we're what's putting whoopee whoosh, whoosh, cushions on each other? It's uh. So what's one question you never get asked that you wish people would? Uh. Well. I like answering questions about the work more than anything, and that, I think there's not enough of that. People saying why, you know, this scene plays like this. Why did you? Why, why does it play that way? Um, I know it's, it's a very general um, thing, but um, I don't know. Is there a scene that you're proud of that you took and made it your own? I'd like just to say that every scene that works, you do that on some level. You make it your own. Okay, let's get it. I was Kirk scene. Oh, favorite Kirk scene. Okay, this is actually a little bit of a surprise. Okay, that's a good question because um, you know Kirk has a lot of fan favorite scenes where people do uh, where, where he does like really wacky stuff like Wednesday and things like that. Those are never my favorites. My favorites are like. Uh, uh, like there's a scene on a park bench in season two where I'm with Jackson and we're sort of dipping to Kirk's past for the first time uh, in, you know on the show and I like that scene it's more it has more small nice moments right um, I like the scene with the texture of more, than the, more than the big funny Scott no, get through, all right. Yeah, we gotta get through uh, this quick. Man. Okay, let's do a speed round. Really good one. All right. Let's see. Beach or mountains? Uh, beach. Go to karaoke sign. Uh, uh, gentle on my mind. You consider yourself a geek? Um, I'm gonna. I want to answer one, and I want to. We're gonna go that. Up. We're gonna go. Oh, down. okay. Do I consider myself a geek? I, everybody's a geek for something, but I'm not a geek in the way that people are traditionally called. Oh. So what really was your childhood geek influence? What brought you into the fold of what you're a geek about? Um, I mean, uh, I'm just a geek for movies in general. So it was having older brothers that were really interesting. The introduction of Cable? <laughs> yeah, right, and Cable. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So now the last one. Actually, I have one after that. But this okay. one here, what do you want to be when you grow up? An actor. Really? Yeah. Since how, how old? Since I was old enough to know what a professional was. Nice. Nice. So have you made it? I mean, yeah. I think, you know, my goal was always, it's hard to make a living as an actor. So I always yeah. think, if I'm making my living doing that, then I need to be happy with that first and foremost. And then I still want to do other things beyond that. I still have ambition beyond that. But I, I always want to remain grateful for the fact that what I set out to do was make a living, and I've been doing that for 20 plus years. So. Last thing, what crazy thing can you tell us about your upcoming movie? With the uh, Not a day with that. Good enough? Yeah. Now, one last final question I'll get out of here. Can we take a selfie and you fill it all us? Sure. You got the camera set up? Hope you enjoyed that interview with Sean. Make sure you thumbs up for Sean Gunn, Rocket Raccoon, Kirk, and all the other beloved characters that he's played. As well as subscribe to the channel for more interviews with Hollywood greats and geek icons. Talk of the Tavern is there. We're doing this, having a great time. Want you to come along. Make sure you check out the links below. Free book. And join us live streaming every Monday night from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern. See you there.